Good morning, YouTube. What's up? It's me, your girl, at K Kenora, and I'm back with another video. So it is um, Tuesday, February 16th, and it is 7.15 a.m. And I wanted to do story time. So this will be how I ended up in the mental hospital and how my son ended up in foster care. Okay, so let me give y'all a little background before I um, get into some more stuff that I want to get into with you guys. So, as you know, um, since I've moved here, I have been harassed, gaslighted, manipulated, love-bombed, um, discarded, de devalued, and just it's just been a lot of hostility. Um, towards my neighbors for me you know from the day I came in they were you know devaluing me discarding me stalking me and all of this stuff so this is that is really how I got I won't say into YouTube but because I, I, I was on YouTube way before then but this is how I got into YouTube. I'm just going to say that. And um, as you know, the, how the narcissist gas like me, they use things that I say and they say them and um, or use the things that I don't want to happen, that they know I don't want to happen and they make it happen. And as you know, um, I came from Alabama to Naples, Florida with my Section 8 and my name was being smeared in Alabama and it went through the Section 8 to Naples. And this is how I'm in this situation now. So I just had to give y'all a little background. And you know also that I was calling the police, making reports and all of this stuff. So the day that I went to the mental hospital, I had called the police about the fake YouTube channel that was made in my name. As a matter of fact, it's another fake YouTube channel that was made in my name. I, I believe it says AK Kenora, AK Kenora, the transgender or something like that. So that is what I called the police about. So after I called the police about that, I was outside with my son and the J Jamaican man or the Haitian man, whoever he is, he just came out and just started stalking me, okay? He just, you know, stares at me. He never says anything. When I went to him to talk to him to say that it's okay to speak to me, he told me that he don't like to speak. So if you don't like to speak, stop stalking me. Every time I go to the garbage can, they go to the garbage can. If I go to the mailbox, they go to the mailbox. It's like everywhere I turn, they're there. So the officer was like, I'm finna... Matter of fact, no, let me go back before I say that. Okay, so when I called the police to make a report about the video, they sent the same man who I first, who first contact, who came out the first time I was, I had, I, I called the police. And he, from day one, he was like, if you call another officer up here, you're going to baker ate me. If y'all can go back into my videos, I think it was one of my videos it called fear or something but that's what the um the officer said to me and he was also the same officer that came out when i made the video in fact he was the same officer that came out when i when i um called the police on the neighbor for beating on the on the wall so um he came out again with the sergeant and um i asked him i was like um weren't you the same guy who told me if another officer come out that you was going to bakerate me and he was like yeah but i know deep down he didn't like that so anyways what they left after i made the report they left and then that's when the haitian man came out and just started stalking me so that's what made me call the police again and the police was telling me like he can stand out there he's not doing anything he can stand out there and he told he Put me in handcuffs and he was like you're gonna you're gonna go to um 
we're, we're from the Baker AQ to the hospital. And he told his sergeant that I went willingly. But if I went willingly, why did you put me in handcuffs and throw me in the back of the police car? Okay? No, I didn't go willingly. You arrested me because you said that what I was saying wasn't true. And my thing is, how you gonna tell me what I'm saying not true? How you gonna tell me what I see? I'm not crazy, bro. I see what's going on. Okay? So, um, I get to the mental hospital or whatever, and um, the people from DS DCF called the mental hospital and asked me if I had any relatives. Y'all know I'm not talking to my dad, my sister, or anybody in my family. So I was like, no. So that's when the secretary lady, she just bust in the room and was like, your child is your child that. And I, I got on her. I was like, don't, don't come at me like that, bro. You don't know me like that. So she went and told the people whatever she wanted to tell the people because I guess she was upset about how I responded to her. And I didn't care because if you're going to come off at me, I'm going to come back off at you. I'm not a child. You're not going to talk to me like no child. So um, I ended up still giving them my dad number, even though me and my dad haven't spoke since June or May. I still ended up giving them my dad number. They did not call my dad. They did not call my dad. They beat it now because I'm telling it all. And I'm going to tell it all. I don't give a fuck, bro. So um, I gave them my my dad number even though I wasn't um talking to my dad or whatever like that and instead of them calling they never called my dad they just sent my son to foster care they did have my dad number because I gave them my dad number so if you don't have if if I kept telling you that I don't have any family how come you knew to contact my dad how come you sent police officers to my dad's house how come you did all that if I kept telling you I didn't have no family that's what it says in the paperwork and we're going to get down to the paperwork I just want to get this out okay so yeah after that happened I ended up calling my dad and I ended up calling my sister and um they ended up sending me to the back Sending me to the back at the hospital. My mouth is dry, y'all. I got my tea right here. So they ended up sending me to the back. So once I get to the back and I talk to... Who did I talk to? No, I had a court hearing the next day. And... The court hearing said that I was mentally abusing my son. Like, bruh, that that made me so upset because how am I going to mentally abuse my son? I'm his mother. What I tell him to do, he's going to do it. And when I tell him not to do, he's not going to do it because I have his best interest at heart. Nobody else, because if they did, he wouldn't be in foster care right now. Okay? So, um, that's where it all started. Like, cause he, he could have contacted my dad and got into it with, and got in contact with my dad, but he didn't. So I'm going to read y'all the papers that I have from the hospital. I'm going to read y'all the, what, I'm going to read y'all what the officer said about me. And it is crazy. It just sounds like a bunch of he say, she say. Okay. So they, they have my name. They have um, my race, my role, and then they have my child's father's name. And so they have his name and they have his race and stuff. And it says, um, and this, this, this last update was June the 5th, 2015. Tell me why they bringing up stuff that happened way in 2015 to make a case against me. None of this just happened. This happened 2015. It says case closing with no jurisdiction as the AP was never a caregiver to the child. He was a neighbor. So I guess the neighbor is the one who called DCF on me. Bruh, these neighbors been calling DCF on me since December the 4th. December the 4th. So this is how I know. This was, this, this has all, all of this has already been planned out. So... It says, um, what, it, what is the extent of malnutrition? What sounding circumstances accompanying the alleged mal, maltreatment participate events in history? Then it says, case closing with no jurisdiction as the AP was never a caregiver to the child. He was a neighbor. 
So safety analysis summary, case closing with no ju jurisdiction as the AP was never a caregiver to the child. He was a, 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 a neighbor. So if my case is closed, why don't I have my son if the case is closed? Okay, you found no evidence of what the neighbors were saying. No evidence. So you just kidnapped my son, bro. My son is kidnapped right now, bro. So it says here, the parents are violent, impulsive, or acting dangerously in ways that seriously harm the children or will likely... Wait, what page am I reading? Hold up, y'all. Let me, let me make sure I got the pages in order. They should be in order because I put them in order um, the other day. Okay, let's see. What is this? 10, 11, 12. Like, all of this is old stuff. Like, all of it is, it is old stuff. And matter of fact, I'm going to read it to y'all. So, let me separate it. This goes with this. Right. Six. Eight. Where's nine? Where, where's where's nine? I don't see nine. Oh, this is page nine. Oh, okay. This this is page nine. So we're gonna slide this in there. Okay, so my keep in mind they bringing up old stuff that happened in 2015. Okay. So, let me finish reading because I guess I'll... This is what I need. This is page two. Okay, so... Um... It says the legal father, this man is the father of Noah Haynes. Paternity has been established because his name is on the child's birth certificate. Okay. So, um, it says notice to parent of date and time and location of hearing. Inability to notify the petition has, has made a good faith effort to notify or locate, but was unable to notify. Y'all didn't because I gave y'all my dad's number and... You, you went to my dad's house. You sent the police to my dad's house. So how was he unable to um, identify? So they says that my dad is unable to be notified because his whereabouts are unknown. It says probable cause or grounds for removing. And re the reason why my dad is in this is because my dad is on my son's birth certificate. Okay, so this is how my dad is in this. So probable cause or grounds for removal need for a placement. Probable cause exists to remove the child from the legal care, custody, and control of the parent within the intent meaning of section 39 for as following has occurred. The children have been abused, neglected, abandoned, or are suffering from or are in immediate danger or illness or injury as a result of abuse, neglect, and abandonment. Neither, neither, none of that is true. The child was abused, abandoned, neglected, or is in immediate danger of injury or illness because of the abuse, the abandonment, abandonment the neglect within the meaning and intent of section 39.1. An out-of-home safety plan with placement in shelter care is in the best interest of the child. Specifically, the child is unsafe because impending dangerous threat exists within the household and all five sufficiency criteria required to implement in the, ho in the home safety plan cannot be met. Okay, this is a total lie, okay? Because, matter of fact, let me read, let me read the, um, I want to read, I got to read this, I got to read this because... The next page is what the officer wrote. None of that is true, bruh. None of it. My son, y'all see my son on video every day. Y'all see what kind of kid he is. You see he's a happy kid. If he was being abused, he would not be a happy kid. My son is a happy kid. 
So the child is dependent and shelter care is necessary in the best interest of the child. The present danger to the children was manifested through the following danger threat. The parents are not meeting the children's basic and essential needs for food. How? Clothing and supervision. And the, I have my, my child every day. How, how am I not meeting those needs? My son don't starve. My son is not dirty at all. So have already seriously harmed or will likely be seriously harmed. How could y'all say that, bro? How could y'all, how could, how could they even say that? Yes, I whoop my child. Yes, I do. I whoop my child. That's my child. Because I got to deal with him rolling his eyes at me, sucking his teeth, and um, stomping away when I tell him to do something. Yes, he will get in trouble for that. I teach my son respect because I have respect. So now the parent is violent, impulsive, or acting dangerously in ways that seriously harm the children or will likely seriously harm the child. How am I acting dangerously? If I call the police and say someone is stalking me, how is that acting dangerously? A dang acting dangerously would have been me going over to his house and, and doing whatever I can to him. That would have been dangerously. I ain't do nothing but call the police. Okay? And how I get in, tr in in trouble? How did I get to the mental hospital? How did I get arrested for calling the police? So, Department of Children and Families, the department is respectfully requesting the court shelter the child Noah Haynes from his mother, Renika Williams, and his legal father, Danny Haynes. The mother suffers from chronic mental illness, mental health issues, and, and is Presently being held pursuant to an involuntary, uh, involuntary Baker 8. The legal father's whereabouts are unknown and he is believed to have abandoned the child, bruh. On, uh, on, on February 6, 2021, the department re received the following allegations to the Child Abuse Hotline. Bruh, how? How? I caught the police on February the 6th, bruh. So how? And if... Someone called the Bruce hotline on me on December the 4th. Why did they take y'all December, January, February, two months to come out? Why? If someone been called you guys, I haven't talked to anybody until February 6th when I called the police because the neighbor was stalking me. That's not what y'all came out for, bruh. Tell the truth. Because it's in the records. I called them. So now let me let, I'm, I'm going to read to y'all what the, the officer wrote. Ongoing. Ongoing. Okay? And that means because I called the police. I, I've been calling the police since I've been here. And I'm not just going to call the police for no reason. I'm not crazy. So ongoing, the mother is delusional. The mother has been continually contacting law enforcement because she thinks the neighbors are harassing her. her. I don't think, baby. I know that these neighbors are harassing me. That's why every time I'm going to put their ass on camera, every motherfucking time. And I'll put your ass on camera too. So you better tread lightly. Real talk. So she has alleged that the neighbors are getting in her mind. Bruh, they calling DCL for me. So how, you you just tell them to lie to yourself. So evidently, it's something there if they're calling DCF for me for no reason. So that right there tells you that I am being harassed. What I'm saying is the truth. The mother feels that when she does something like go outside, the neighbors are also doing it. Let, I told y'all, the video is on YouTube. Every time I walk somewhere, that it, it's quiet as a mouse. As long as I'm in the house, we don't have nothing around here. People stay in their house all the time. But the moment I come outside, I'm doing something with my son, this man come outside. It's not a coincidence, bruh. Today is the fourth time recently that the mother has contacted law enforcement due to her delusions. This is what the officer is saying. It is alleged that the mother used, used to get mental health service in Alabama, but does not feel the need, 
does not feel that she needs service any longer. Today, law enforcement is going to Baker Act the mother. However, there is currently no one available to care for the child. The mother and child moved to Florida from Alabama three months ago. Child Protective Investigator Ad Addison Miller was assigned to investigate the, the allegations. Miller was able to confirm the allegations to be true and that the mother was being held pursuant to an involuntary breaker act at the Davis Lawrence Center during his pre pre commencement background check on the family Miller discovered that department had that the department has had three prior calls to the hotline regarding this family three prior calls bro three prior calls so tell me that's not grounds for harassment and stalking you making up stuff bro i walk around this bitch every day with my son bro every day every day it's just me and my son bro and these people harass me every day clearly because they called three times three times and i only been here three months And then out of everything, I whoop my son. I whoop my son and all that. They want to say I'm mentally abusing him? They could have said I'm physically abusing him because I do, I do whoop my son. I do. And I'm not ashamed to say that because that's my baby. And I'm supposed to discipline him. When I called that police to see if that police can help me out with my son, when my son scrubbed that toothbrush on the, on the wall... What did that officer tell me? Exactly. This clearly is harassment. Three times had three prior calls to the hotline regarding this family. In 2013, the department investigated allegations regarding domestic violence and the mother then paramount bared my child's father. Why are you bringing up old stuff? This is from 2013. What do that have to do with this? What do that have to do with this? Me calling the police because the neighbor is stalking me. What do that have to do with this? How come nobody investigated when I said the neighbors were stalking me? How come nobody went and talked to him? Oh, okay. But one thing about it, the truth will come to light. It will. And the misery that you're causing me from being away from my son, I ask God to have mercy on you. Everybody who have a hand in this, I ask God to have mercy on you. Have mercy. Because vengeance is mine, say the Lord. Yes. What goes around comes around. And you will reap what you sow. Okay. So three times, bro. Somebody has called three times. So they bringing up old stuff. Let's see. A true and correct copy of the department's investigative summary is attached. And we're going to read that. Notable, the prior investigation refers to Mr. Irvin as the child's father. Mr. Irvin is not the name legal on the on the on the birth certificate. The case closed with the mother completing services in Alabama. In 2015, they going back, they went to 2013. Now they going to 2015. 2015, the department again received allegations to the hotline regarding domestic violence between the mother and Mr. Irvin. A true and correct copy of the department investigation is attached and is in is incorporated as though plea hearing. Again, it's the case. Yeah. So most recently, the hotline. Okay. So if I got three th three calls in 2013, 2015, and 2021. Come on, bruh. What possibly? And, and none of this has anything to do with my baby being abused. 2013 and 2015, no, none of it. Maybe 2013 was close because my son was there when my child's father jumped on me. He was there. So I understand that. But 
2015, yes, he was there as well, but there was no case open or anything in that matter. So the most recent, the hotline screened out a call regarding the mother and child on 12-4-2020, bro. The allegations are as followed. So this is what, this is what the person, I guess the neighbor said to the hotline when they called in December 4th. The mother is mentally abusing her son. The mother seems to have schizophrenia and has gone untreated and is inadvertently mentally abusing the child. She has been caught outside with her son on the porch with the phone recording him. And when he doesn't say something the way she wants, she starts screaming at him that he needs to say it the way she told him to. It is very long period of recording him outside in a in a chair in the very hot weather. He is not in school. The mother accuses anyone walking near her apartment of following her and then screams at her son saying, yes, that's the guy you see. He's following us. She scares the child and there is concern. She seems to have an untreated mental disability. So, I know exactly what they're talking about right here. This is when my son is on YouTube. Okay. Y'all know my son's intro. Hi. Hello. My name is Noah and welcome back to show and tell. Yes. That's his intro. And yes, I'm going to make him do it over and over until he get it. Period. Like mind your business. You don't know what plans I have for my son. That doesn't mean that I'm mentally abusing my son at all. So this is how I know the neighbors is harassing me because they watching everything. And I was outside by myself when, when we was doing this. I remember what I had on and everything. I had on that white hat and my white shirt. And I told y'all that the, um, the man in the go-kart came and sat right there and cut us off every time. Knowing that we were trying to do what we needed to do. This is crazy. This is all hearsay. This is all he say, she say. You have no proof of this, bro. Where is your proof? Where is your proof? You have no proof of this. You just going by what someone else said. So this, the December 4th, 2020 call was screened out because the report did not contain any information of a specific harm to the child. Then if it didn't, then why are you bringing it up? Why, why is this the issue why my son is being taken from me now? If, if the information didn't, didn't give you specific harm of the child. We were sitting outside making a video. That's all we was doing. And every time my son got it wrong, guess what? I made him start over. So how is that mentally abusing my son? How? And if it's irrelevant, why are you even using this to kidnap my son? It says here. The December 4th, 2020 call was screened out because the report did not contain any information of specific harm to the child. Then that means you can't use it. After completing this, after completing his background investigation on the family, Miller was able to meet and interview Noah. Noah did not have any marks of bruises on him. Noah disclosed to CPI Miller that he can recall being in foster care twice while he lived in Alabama. So what? So what if he was in foster care twice when we was in Alabama? That don't give you a right to put him in foster care today? Now? So what? Noah was shown a picture of his legal father, whatever, and referred to him as grandpa. Noah was also shown a picture of Irvin, who he referred to as father. The mother repeatedly advised C.P. Miller that she did not have any family or friends in Florida who would be able to, who would be able or willing to assume care and custody. I never told that man that. 
I never told you that. Don't put words in my mouth. I never said that. I never told you that I did not have any, any family. I may have told YouTube that I did not have any family. And you may have the same person who called on December 4th may have told you that. But I never told you that, Mr. Miller, at all. So don't put words in my mouth. I'm supposed to have a, um, hold up, y'all. Let me go get a, uh, uh, a, 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 a highlighter so I can circle all of this. I'm going to circle all of this and I'm going to give it to the judge, period. Because all of this, this is just false. All of this. So, let's see. Mother repeatedly, she did not have any family who would be able or willing to get the child. If I told you that, then how come you got my dad number? How come you sent, how come you sent, um, how come you sent the police to my grandmother's house? How come you did that? And then when my dad asked the police officer what was going on, he acted as if he didn't know. They contacted my dad, bro. My dad said they contacted him. And say he, he wasn't there when they pulled up. But as he was riding up, he stopped one of the officers and asked the, one of the officers what was going on. And the officer said he did not know. Stop lying. Stop playing. You playing with somebody's child, bro. Now, if anything happened to my child, God forbid... We're going to have a big problem if anything happened to my child. Right. Okay. So I, I did not tell you that. I did not tell you that. So upon further investigation, CP Metal determined that the mother was born in a, whatever, the mother birth certificate. Okay. So they went and found all my people, all my people. All right. And this is just them saying contacted, contacted. I don't know if they contacted Elton or not, but they pulled her up and they pulled my brother up too. CP Miller requested law enforcement respond to the last known child's address of my dad. Mr. Hayne no longer lives. How? How my dad no longer lives at this address and the police went to his address. That's another lie right there. So the mother remains under the a Baker Act at this time. Uh, DLC records and law enforcement calls outs have been requested, but are pending receipt at this time. Okay, so y'all y'all got all the calls to see what's really going down, but it's pending at this time. Why is it pending? Hmm? Because you don't really care about finding those records. Because if you find those records, you'll find the truth, bruh. But don't worry, because I already went down to the um, sheriff's office and put in the motherfucking complaint. So there is no appropriate caregiver available for the child. Department is requesting court shelter for the child and place him into licensed foster care. So... So reasonable effort. In accordance with 39.4... Uh, the department has made reasonable efforts to prevent or eliminate the needs for the removal of the child. No, you didn't. Because why Why is those records still pending, bruh? Why Why y'all making up stuff saying I'm mentally abusing my son? Why? So, the provision of appropriate and avail available safety services will not eliminate the need for placement of the child in, in shelter care because an emergency existed in which the child could not, not safely remain in the home. How? How? If, if you guys could have took him to foster care and why I don't have my baby now? Because I'm out now. So why don't I have my baby now? How how am I mentally abusing my child? How? How? 
by making him do his video over and over and over until he get it right? No, that's practice. That's what he's supposed to do. On his assignments, when he getting it wrong, he going to erase it. That's why he have an eraser. So he can do it over and over until he get it. How is that mentally abusing my son? The parents are not willing for an in-home safety plan to be developed and implemented or have demonstrated that they will co corroborate what all identified. Now they saying that we, my dad, don't want to corroborate. I've been corroborating this whole time. Why wouldn't I want to corroborate? The home environment is not calm and consists enough for an in-home safety plan to implement for the safety provided. So now the child cannot stay safely remain at the home either because there are no preventative services that can assure the safety of the child or because even with appropriate and available services being pro provided, the health and safety of the child could not be planned. What does that even mean? So you telling me I am unfit to care for my child even after I get the the help that you say that I need. What are you saying? You you talking in circles, bro. Yeah, this is some bull crap. The home situation presents a substantial immediate danger to the child, which cannot be mitigated by the provision of preventative services as outlined in the grounds for removal, need for placement section action. This is bull crap. All of it. And now they gave me and my dad super, supervised visitation. And then the lady, I've never known for me ha to have to go down. Like this lady told me I have to go down to the courthouse and, and file this paper. When do they ever give you stuff to file? Why do I have to go down and file this paper for you to be my public defender? That doesn't make sense to me. Shouldn't you file this paper? But they gave it to me to file. Why? Like that does not make sense at all. So, yeah, like I said, all of this, they're bringing up stuff that happened in 2013, 2015. And then the last one was December 4th, which they have no evidence to even go off of that. But that's what they're going off of. Clearly, the paper said they have no evidence to go off of that. But this is what they're going off of because they say I'm mentally abusing my son. How am I mentally abusing my son? If you don't have no evidence to, uh, to show that my eye jump and they talking about me. Y'all see it? Look at it. Y'all see it? They talking about me. Yeah, they plotting, they plotting, they scheming, they doing all of this. Like, bro, you just said that the, the, the call did not have enough evidence. So if the call didn't have enough evidence, why did you kidnap my son? Because basically now my son is kidnapped right now. 
He probably not, he probably not even in the system. So you're right. I need to, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. But all of this, they bringing up stuff from 2013. Um, uh, listen what they say about me. The mother has a bit of a temper, but has been compliant with law enforcement. Hold up. That don't even make sense. I have a bit of a temper, but I have been complying with law enforcement. That don't even go together. Because if I had a temper, I wouldn't be complying. Come on, bruh. The Paramount is on probation that has a history of being violent. All of this is from 2013. If y'all can see without showing my name. Let me see. Let me, let me see. Matter of fact, I don't even care if I show my name. If y'all can see right here, see that date? All the way from 2013, this is what they picking up. Okay, so again, let me circle this one. So again, it says safety analysis summary. Case closing with no jurisdiction as the AP was never a caregiver to the child. He was a neighbor. So the person who called was a neighbor. So the case is closed. If the case is closed, why do you still have my child? I'm sorry, y'all. My mouth is dry. Why do you still have my child if the case is closed? All of this is taking place when my son was one month old. What? February 6, 20, 2007. Larceny. What the fuck? I ain't never went to jail for no larceny. Let me, let me see what that means. This is all crazy, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm going to expose you. For sure. I have to. Oh yeah, I did go. Yep, I I was stealing. I was stealing out the store and um <laughs> that's a funny story. I'll probably tell y'all about that. But anyways, this is it's it's about this right now. So they got my whole criminal history down here. So the overall safety assessment, the child is safe. There are concerns due to the violent behavior of the parents. Bruh. The allegation is family violence threatened child. I'm not even with my child's father. So how is this? How how are you going to bring something that happened way back in 2013 that I got myself out of and put it in this work? How are you going to do that? I'm single as hell. I don't have no men in my house. It's just me and my baby. So how the parents violence when you just said that he clearly just said that the parent Right here, parent not in home. For, for my child's father, parent not in home. Parent not in home. It says it right here. Parent not in home. But then down here, it says the child is safe. There are concerns due to the violent behavior of the parents. This parent is not even home. And how you going to take something that I did from my past and bring it up to kidnap my baby? All this happened in 2013, 2015. What happened in 2020 and 2021? Nothing happened. So how are you going to take something that happened way back and put it here? And, 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 and blame me for 
mentally abusing my son was something that happened far back. My son don't even remember. You're mentally abusing my son because you got my son away from his mother. You're mentally abusing him. So how am I mentally abusing him? Hmm? You're mentally abusing him, taking a, taking him away from his mother and having him living in 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 in, in with strangers. Matter of fact, you mentally abusing both of us. You're mentally abusing both of us. And then, Mr. Miller, I have to I have to run him down. To even get to talk to my baby. I haven't seen, seen my baby in almost two weeks. So you mentally abusing both of us. All of y'all are. The whole system. I need to get me a lawyer. That's what I need to get. Because this right here. It, it just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense at all. Okay, so they got my whole two counts of battery, aggravated battery, burglary with assault and battery. That is currently being held for, for another agency. Mom received a few scratches to her left leg in the right of her back. Dad has not been interviewed. Mom was over dv counseling anger management and parenting mom only accepted the parenting no i didn't stop lying with me i did i did all that i did anger management and i did parenting i did parenting on my own nobody told me to do parenting i did that on my own anger management was what i was supposed to be doing they 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 lying Risk remains the same. The father is still in jail. No, he's not, bruh. He's not in jail, bruh. Let me circle this. All of this is... Uh, is I, I, I need to go get me a lawyer. I need to get me a lawyer. And then they got this from 515. Oh my God, look, Noah is a great kid. The mother came back from Alabama in February 2, 2015 after being gone for two years. What? No, I didn't, bruh. What, what the fuck they getting this information from, bruh? No, I didn't. I went to Alabama in 2013 and... In 2015 of February, I came back to, um, here you go, February 2015, I went back to Florida, I went back to Florida, and then in July, I'll never forget, because I was staying in Naples, this, this, hap this right here, after the, after this 5, 10, 15, um, incident with me and my child's father, I drove to Naples, right after that. And I stayed in the shelter that I stayed in when I first got here. And you can't stay in the shelter forever. Because remember, it's not a shelter or a hotel. And that's what the man at the Baker Act told me. This is not a shelter or a, or a hotel. But everybody else can be sheltered and hotel there. After this incident... I came to Naples on July the 4th. I went back to Alabama, July the 4th, 2015. I went back to Alabama. So I did not stay gone. No two years. So she has tried to let the father see Noah as much as she could. She is not employed. She does not have any family locally. The father does farm work. The mother puts Noah in time out to discipline him. How am I mentally abusing him if I put him in time out to discipline him? How? How am I mentally abusing him? Okay.
all this is just some bull crap, bro. My to kidnap my baby. That's this is what all of this is about. Okay, let's read this. All right, so this is the dependency shelter petition. Parents legal custodian, upon service of this petition, you are hereby advised of your rights to obtain your own lawyer for the shelter arraignment hearing and all subsequent hearing and, and of your rights to request the court to appoint an attorney if you cannot afford to hire an attorney. This right continues at each and every stage of dependency proceeding, even if you have previously wa waived the right. So this says on February 6, 2021, 1130, the above named child was found living or domiciled within the jurisdiction of a court and was taken into custody by um, Addison Miller, child protective investigation. The child is is of an age subject to the ju jurisdiction. Stop acting like y'all found my child, bro, wandering around him by himself. No, I called the police for the neighbor stalking me and he took me to jail. He stopped me in handcuffs in the back seat with my son sitting right beside me telling, telling me that my son is going to foster care. That's what happened. Don't put words in my mouth and don't lie on me, bro. You should know by now that I'm not going to stand for it. You should know by now that I am going to fight. You should know that by now. All of this is a bunch of bull crap, bro. They bringing up old stuff that happened when my son was one month old and they're using it against me. You just say the parent is not at home. So how do you say that you taking the child because the, the, of the parent's violence? I don't, I don't fight around my son. I don't do any of that around my son. Because before it gets to that, you can go. You can leave. But anyways, y'all, I just wanted to um tell my story on how I ended up in the mental hospital and how my son ended up in foster care, which he still is, is in foster care. But don't worry about that because what's done in the dark will come to light. And you may just you you may just lose your job. So that's why I'm asking God to have mercy on you right now. Because you can't mess with a child of God. And that's facts. So have mercy on you and you will reap what you sow. Talk about I'm mentally abusing my son. Bro, y'all just took my son away from his mother. How do you think he feel mentally? And you have no right to still have my child. So that's why you made up this bullshit ass story to keep my child. But I'm going to take action and I'm going to get me a lawyer and we're going to get this thing figured out. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you are new to my channel, then subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, then you already know what to do. Make sure you click that notica notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos, y'all. Because y'all, get me to a thousand likes. Get me a thousand subscribers so that I can go live. I'm ready to go live. Like, I want to see these people who like my videos, who watch my videos. I want to talk to y'all. I want to get to know y'all. I want to build a relationship with y'all. So, get me to a thousand likes so that I can go live. And then, what the officer did, because y'all know I normally record all of my videos. He waited till he seen me not recording to put me in handcuffs. Literally, he did this. So that's why I filed a complaint with the sheriff's office too. And I'm going to get me a lawyer because I don't, I don't even trust this public defender because why do I have to file my own papers? I've never had to file my own papers. But she told me, take this down to the courthouse and file these papers. Do I look like the public defender to you? But I see I'm going to have to be the public defender since you don't want to do your job. Anyways, peace until next time. Um, let me see what I can say.
Oh yeah, just just keep your head up because it's some it's some evil evil in this world. Period. It's per evil in this world. How how could you take a child away from his mother? How could you how could you use my story? Cause I told him that I I went to the mental hospital when my son was just born because I was struggling with um. After you have your baby, you know you get the the baby blues. That's what they call it, the baby blues. And it's like I was dealing with the baby blues. So I, I took myself to the hospital. The second time I went to the hospital, I took myself again to the hospital. So don't use that. They're using that to build a case. I don't I, I do not have a mental a history of mental illness. I have depression and I have anxiety. So don't try to paint me into this bad person at all but you will reap what you sow so until next time y'all peace and goodbye